Penny Candy. The name of white American Jesus. <laughs> American white Jesus. Seems like two different people. White American Jesus and American white Jesus. <laughs> Hello! No, is that what we're doing? <laughs> I don't know. Hello. Um, hello, I'm Damien. And I'm Jared. And this is Penny Candy. Um, and today we're talking about the X-Men franchise. Yeah, we really wanted to take our first episode to talk about this movie because we just saw the most recent installment, Dark Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And... Sort of recent. Sort of recent, yeah. We've only seen it once. Yeah, disclosure. we just saw it, yeah, yeah. a couple weeks. Oh, well, a couple days ago. A couple days ago. Yeah, now. Wow. So it's only for the couple days. Yeah. So we thought we'd make our first verdict. We know this. So we also wanted to talk about the other movies and kind of not shit on them. Yeah, not shit on them, and just really kind of go through and just give an overview of what we liked about those movies. Yeah. You know, a little positive with the in you know negative. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's it's so many videos. It's enough videos online talking about the negative in all the videos. Um, as if we're not gonna go in on the movie at, at the end. No, we're definitely doing that. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna talk about the positive in Dark Phoenix too. Yeah. We actually like these films. Mm -hmm. We followed them, we are fans of the comics, we are fans of the cartoons, we are fans, we have seen every cartoon, we have seen all the movies multiple times. Um, so it's, okay. X1. X1. X-Men. X-Men 1. Yes. <laughs> Is it X1? Because on, on the DVDs they have X1 now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, some of, them, okay. some of them have X1. Okay, that makes sense. It makes probably okay. logical sense and makes sense if I'm reading them and don't know what they are. But X-Men, the third X-Men movie two, wasn't X3. X1, X2. Oh, no, wasn't. it wasn't. Is it not? It's, it's not. not. It's X-Men The Last Stand. Uh, well. There you go. <laughs> um, important movie. Yeah, it was really important. Uh, it was really important to show kind of that first, or not the first, definitely not the first of anything, but just, no. It was important for that team um, superhero, I guess they don't want to be superheroes, but you know, team superhero thing it was shown that leather, it spandex, you yeah. know, it can be done. Yeah. yeah. And, and people were bitching about the black leather because The Matrix had just come out and, you know, everything was pretty much black leather in the late 90s, early 2000s. Right. So, get over it. Yeah. You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? Get it they did, clearly, because, you know, right. over time it evolved. It was not just black leather anymore. But exactly. The first one was definitely uncomfortable black leather. <laughs> Poor actors. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably really hot. Yeah, um, they probably had to grease Halle Berry up. In her Catwoman outfit. Yeah, that's what that suit was. Her Catwoman suit was the ex was her ex so. her storm suit cut up. Yeah. <laughs> well, shaving on leather. Well, I don't know. Catwoman saved on a lot of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but the casting wasn't bad in X1. It wasn't. No, I mean, I mean really it, it, listen, you can't do better than Pat, Sir Patrick Stewart yeah. as... And Sir Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen. I, mean, I enjoyed the cast. I thought uh, Hugh Jackman was a, a happy surprise. People were bitching about it. Oh, he doesn't look like Wolverine. He's too pretty. Yeah. And then he came in and was like, oh, this is Wolverine. He's, he's Wolverine. And... That's what we got. That's what we got for a long time in the, in the, in the film. And it was fine. It was fine. We were, we were fine with it. It was fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're on screen for the first time. For the first time. So. For the first time. We'll take it. I, you know, I, people gave Halle Berry a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Halle Berry didn't bother me as much as the script bothered yeah, she me. She did. She did what she had to. She did her job. Mm -hmm. um, do you know what happens when you know totally struck totally 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 by lightning? It's not her fault. No. She didn't write it. We shit on Halle Berry for that line, but she didn't write that shit. Yeah. <laughs> the budget for X for the first X-Men movie was, compared to the movies now, yeah. is a joke. Mm -hmm. 
I was excited actually when the first X Men movie came out. Yeah, of course. The first X Men movie was, it was like the first. I guess we had had what? what was that? The, was that the first big X Men thing that we got since ninety two? Mm -hmm. X Men Evolution. No, that was after. That was the movie. after, right? Huh? Yeah. I think who stole the movie was Mystique. Entirely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Her scenes were. So good. Our fight scenes were incredible. Yeah, we'll get to Jennifer Lawrence later. But <laughs> I enjoy Rebecca Romaine in this. Show. Yeah. And the makeup. She's the best, Steve. The makeup. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was that dark, purpley blue. Like it was almost black. Mm -hmm. Like it was great. I been to. Thoughts? I mean, it's, it's the best. Of the first it is, three it movies. Is, it is the best. It is up there with the best of the X-Men movies. It would definitely be in my top three. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It is it is the best. It's the best plot. Mm -hmm. Um Well, that's arguable. It's the most balanced. Arguable. But yes, yes, it's it's Because it's based off two comics. Mm -hmm. They sort of smashed two comics together yeah. and made a movie, which is what they do. Yeah. Everybody got a moment mm -hmm. in it. The opening scene <laughs> with Nightcrawler, one of my favorite characters, when he comes into the presidential office just fucking... Yeah, I, 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 it's a kind of... I mean, I'm, it's still kind of a moment. Even every time I see it, it's great to watch. It's like, you, I don't know what to say. It's like, oh my god, this is so great. It's great. It's, it, yeah, it's... Maybe the best moment of that movie. Okay. It's still a good movie though. So it's still a good movie because it started off really strong. It started off so strong. It did. Cerebro, which is always the problem, really. Yeah, I just need to blow Cerebro the fuck up. They do. They need to get rid of Cerebro. They destroy it in every movie. Cerebro could be <laughs> an iPhone right now. That's what it, I don't know. Like it, it should be in a no. little compact. Well, yeah. Like, like at this comics. point, it should not be this the building comics. that anyone can get the fuck into. Seems like. Ridiculous. Like <laughs> it's always mystique though. Always like, mystique. It really is always mystique. The jet scene actually felt like an X-Men, like I felt like, oh, here we are, we have entered the X-Men movie mm -hmm. now, because the rest of it felt like a mutant movie, mm -hmm. but I wasn't feeling X-Men yet, because we got Wolverine looking for his past, and, and this person over here, and this person over here, and it was sort of splintered, mm -hmm. and then when they all caught up with each other, and it was yeah. Gene, and Storm, and Wolverine, and Iceman, and Rogue, and Nightcrawler, it was like, oh, yeah, it's an X-Men movie now, arc. Yeah, it's an X-Men movie now, yeah. and that those jets did not stand a chance. Against them in the, oh, the storm. <laughs> that was a good storm moment. Was Everybody that was under the jets and everything, they died because of the tornadoes. Well, There's if it. we're talking about X Men Death Count, which. I mean, if you watch these movies, it's like dead. Yeah, they're dead. 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 I mean. Toad is dead. Dead. Was that this movie? Was it the cop scene? The cop car scene? Oh, yeah. Dead. Well, at least singed. Yes. Horribly, horribly singed. Some of them, like, the ones that they were blowing off the side of the house. The house, yeah. He's dead. Yeah, they're dead. X-Men don't kill, yeah. Yeah, they do. Sure. <laughs> yeah, they do. But he was a brother. He was he was on the fence at that point. He was. That was his arc. That was his arc. Iceman and Rogue's relationship never gelled yeah. with me. Um, but yeah, it was weird. Yeah, but the I felt like the kids got screen time. They did. The kids got screen time in these movies, and that's that was a a, a piece that I liked, and I gotta appreciate here yeah. because it doesn't happen in all the other movies. <laughs> um, that's an understatement. <laughs> the fight scenes were also really good in this movie. Yeah, and that fucking lady death strike scene. Yes, yes. Watching it again recently, I was like, man, this could have even been more gore. Like, just kind of. Dark, a little more dark, but it still is good. It's really good. It needed that scene needed an R rating. Sure, yeah, because really no one's clothes are ripped. Yeah, it, there was not a lot of blood. There was a little blood, but it wasn't it was like there was blood in the water because it drops in the water yeah. when she's stabbing him. 
And that was the blood scene for real. You yeah. didn't get a it lot. It was Street of blood. Fighter levels of blood. It wasn't yeah. Mortal Kombat. It I want Mortal Kombat actually. And I really don't. I just I would do. like a little more blood. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't need entrails like falling to oh, the ground. <laughs> I would like an already X Men. That would be. We need one. That would be lovely. X three. Let's get. Let's just. Get, let's get there, and we'll. We'll get there. This is gonna be fast. Yeah. X three is gonna. <laughs> yeah, it really is gonna be pretty fast. <laughs> um. Cause we're talking about things that we like. like. We like, even though we have delved into some. <laughs> so, I, I, we haven't really gotten into it. We <laughs> we, 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 we could go <laughs> for a long time. Is what we're saying. We have we're not. We're being nice. It. We are being well. Next three. We're being honest. I, we're don't think, I don't think we're being nice. I think we're being honest. Yeah. Sure. But um, X three has it has things. It does stuff. Stuff happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stuff and things do go on. Some of the action scenes were good. Most of them were good. Yeah, yeah. It was when he tried to have quiet moments. True. But it was it, the action scenes. I think for the most part are great. Yeah, that's the, um, that's part of the movie. Yeah, it's what really kind of glossed a lot of people over when they first it, saw it. It was like, oh, oh, heck, it it did. Oh, oh. oh. it yeah. was the shiny model. Yeah, yeah. It it definitely the first time I saw it, I was like. Mind all, yeah. And that's all again. I was like, oh. And then you see the game. <laughs> that's all again. Yeah. It's like, oh, like shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, it gets worse every time. It does. Even rewatching it, it's like this is not as bad as people as people say it. Yeah, because we we did kind of the more we talked about it as how bad it was, the yeah. more and not watched it, the more yeah. we got in our heads that it was just terrible. It was just terrible. But then you watch it, and you're like, well, this isn't that bad. Yeah, it was it's that just, collective. Yeah. Hypnosis. Yeah, it was like everybody. Everybody was saying it was bad, so it must be bad. It's gotta be even worse than what I thought it used yeah. to be. What it used to be. What I thought. Don't have your own. Mind. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's way better than it than it, it's given credit for. Yeah, true. Yeah, those intros are good. Those are that's X Men is known like. for that. They're good with the intro. Yeah, they know how to start these these films. No, punch how to you in the start face with a movie. movie. Yeah, they really do. Yeah, they really do. Beast, beast, as Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, it was great. Beast, Beast, right, Beast as Kelsey. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Beast as Kelsey but Grammer. It was. <laughs> it was Beast as Kelsey Grammer. No, yeah. but no, it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he, yeah, Kelsey Grammer is Beast. Yeah, in everything, all the time. He was Fraser as Beast. Mm -hmm. He was a little blueberry in the face, but I felt like other than other than that, I felt like his characterization was great. I felt like. Mm -hmm. His lines were the best yeah. out of everybody's. Um, he had the best lines, of course, because he's freaking beast. Um, but outside of that and the action scene, that one action scene he was in, he was one of the better parts of the movie. Yeah. Um, Angel was a great part of the movie, even mm -hmm. though he had two lines and did nothing. Yeah. Um, you know, he showed up to the X, the X Mansion and was like, hey, can you join your team? Even yeah. though he never really did. Yeah. He sort, of, he sort of popped up at the end. Yeah. Like he was hovering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he was just up there watching. Like, mm, I'm just yeah. Gonna, I'm just mm. gonna. But they wanted to. We'll stay back. <laughs> he just had to tell them how much money he had. Uh, he had, and then they would have allowed him in. Well, that's how they. Yeah. That's, that's how they roll. Without <laughs> Professor X, yeah. yeah. And he dies. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Professor X dies. He dies. Cyclops. Dies? Yeah. But like in all the movies, they take out Professor X in the first half of it. Because he's OP as fuck. Yeah. We got a lot of mutants. We got a lot of mutants, of mutants in, this movie, in this movie. Yeah. And they, they make it. You want mutants? We'll give you fucking mutants. And they make Juggernaut a mutant, which made my ass itch. But, um, <laughs> made my ass itch. Yeah. Fully. Look like the breastplates that drag queens wear, but a body yeah. suit with hair and muscles. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. It was a little gross. It, it was so kind of gross looking, yeah. Like his, his muscles didn't even move. It was, he did have an iconic line. I mean, this is, this is, this is that movie. Why yeah. was he Australian? I don't know. Okay. It was one of the biggest movies because it made a ton of money. Um, however, <laughs> they saw that and they were like, oh, we might, we might reboot this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might, we yeah. might start over, yeah. or at least go back. Let's go back in time, or yeah. you know. And going back in time was their their play. I mean, eventually, I guess first they had to get through the X Men. I mean, the Wolverine movies. Oh, Wolverine movie franchise. Yeah, 
since we're since we're talking about that, yeah, Origins Wolverine, <laughs> yeah, the first Wolverine movie, possibly the worst X Men movie of all time, yeah, one of the worst movies of all time. True, it's not good. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad for a lot of reasons, but it does have some moments. Yeah, um, and with some things. things. Quick one. Some things. <laughs> it has some things in it. Um, I enjoyed Sabretooth. Yeah. Lee Strasberg is not bad at saying too. I liked him. I mean, yeah. he was he was Catman. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was a Catman. Yeah. He was showing <laughs> off his fangs and stuff. Right. And just, he was a nightman. Gleaming him. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just in this bar. Right. You know, it's probably like <laughs> Nightman looking for the boy's hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want the baby boy's hole, you gotta pay the troll toll. Yeah, I, I thought his, his costume was great. His nails were kind of weird. Um, and he would like file them. Yeah, he was always like playing with them. He was such a queen. He was such a queen. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was <laughs> such a queen. But, um, which is, I think, why I liked him. And then he sort of yeah. ran on all fours. Yeah. Um, which just made it mm -hmm. gayer. Mm -hmm. That. Um, <laughs> just talking now because mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say about it. This so. You bad. don't have to say much about it. I liked Sabretooth and I liked Hugh Jackman naked. Yeah. Gambit wasn't terrible. No, nope. no. Nope. I enjoyed the opening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a bad opening. Yeah, the through time thing. That's actually one of the best scenes in all the X Men movies. I think. Yeah. One of the worst X Men movies has one of the best scenes in all the X Men movies. <laughs> through time thing. Where and Wolverine and Sabretooth are running through time, fighting in all the wars. Yeah. You know. And the the um X or Weapon X scene where they're kind of coming in. Yeah. I kind of like that. It first it's very weird but um i like deadpool at first so, and, uh, so I, guess, right I like that beginning of the movie and that's why so I'm much right potential. Up deadpool. yeah there was so much potential there and they realized it after they horribly bombed it 